Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 96 through 100. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 96. In a corporate network, a systems administrator needs to compile a report detailing processes with their associated IDs that are actively listening on TCP network ports of a Linux server. Which command will allow the administrator to obtain the needed information? The answer is a SS-PLNT. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The SS command short for socket statistics, is utilized to obtain socket-related data. The dash P option adds details about the processes that own the sockets, displaying their process ID and program name. By specifying dash L, the command filters the output to show only listening sockets. The dash N option ensures that numeric addresses are used instead of resolving host names, aiding in faster retrieval of information. Lastly, the dash T option limits the output to TCP sockets specifically. Question 97. In a secure server environment, a systems administrator is assigned the responsibility of modifying the default shell of a system account to prevent interactive logins. Which of the following is the best option for the administrator to use as the new shell? The answer is a forward slash s bin forward slash no login. Forward slash s bin forward slash no. Login is purpose-built for this specific task. It serves as a shell that effectively denies interactive logins while still allowing users to receive error messages or notifications if they attempt to log in. This specialized functionality ensures that the account remains inaccessible for direct login purposes. Question 98. In a large data center, a junior systems administrator has just completed the installation of a RAID card in one of the servers. Which of the following commands can the senior administrator use to confirm the server where the RAID card was installed? The answer is C. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The LSPCI command lists all PCI buses and devices on the system. It provides detailed information about the hardware devices connected to the PCI bus, including RAID cards and disk controllers. The pipe symbol takes the output of the command on its left in this case, ls, pci, and passes it as input to the command on its right, in this case, e, grep. The e grep command is used for searching text using extended regular expressions. It filters input text, which in this case, has come from the ls, pci command, and then prints out arguments that match a specified pattern. The last part is our pattern enclosed in double quotes. It specifies the pattern that e grep should look for. Here, the pipe symbol functions as a logical operator, so egrep will match lines containing either RAID or disk. Question 99. In a large data center, a systems administrator has just connected a new disk to a server, assigning it the identifier forward slash dev forward slash sdc. Next, the administrator would like to determine if a partition table exists on this disk. Which of the following commands can the systems administrator use to check if a partition table exists on the disk forward slash dev forward slash sdc? The answer is B. BLKID. The BLKID command is designed to provide information about blocked devices, including their partitions. When a new disk, such as forward slash dev forward slash sdc is connected to a server, the blkid command can be used to display a concise overview of the disk's partition layout, including details such as partition, UIDs, and file system types. Question 100. In a software project, developers want to prevent certain files from being tracked by the version control system to avoid clutter. Which file should developers use to specify files that should be skipped by the version control system? The answer is D. Dot .git ignore. The dot .git ignore file specifies files that git should ignore. These files are usually ones that are generated during the development process or are specific to the local environment and don't need to be tracked by version control. 
By listing files or directories in the .gitignore file, Git will simply skip over them when tracking changes. Wow, you have completed 100 questions. How about one more question, as a reward for your hard work? Question 101. After deploying a new server for a client, a systems administrator wants to implement a security policy that mandates password changes for users upon their first login. Which of the following commands should the administrator use to enforce this policy and configure the aging attribute for user credentials? The answer is B. Change age D0, followed by the username. The change age command is primarily utilized for managing password aging settings for user accounts. When employed with the dash D option, administrators can specify the last password change date, known as the last day setting, within the command. Additionally, setting this value to zero mandates that the user change their password upon the next login. Congratulations on reaching the end of our CompTIA Linux Plus XK0-005 practice exam. Your commitment and determination are truly commendable. Now that you've completed this important step in your study process, you are that much closer to acquiring your certification. Your next step is to sign up for the official certification exam. But remember, while you've achieved so much already, there's no harm in some last-minute reinforcement. With us, you always have the freedom to dive back into our free training videos or give our practice exam another shot. That way you can ensure you're more than ready. And always remember that we are here cheering you on, eager to witness your next big achievement. So best of luck. We're rooting for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.